Good morning, everybody, and welcome to beautiful Auckland, New Zealand. It's a pretty day, a little overcast, because um, it's supposed to rain a little bit later today. But this is, look at this, we made it perfectly fine with no problems. You see the Viking cruise ship right there. This is part of the city right here. And I think that's Davenport, right across the waterway, right there. Now we did have two different excursions today. Christy had one, I had one. Mine was canyoning, where we're supposed to go through the um, woods and waterfalls and repelling and bouldering and all this other stuff. And it got canceled because apparently they had a flooding issue here in Auckland that was all over the news and stuff. So a lot of things got canceled. But thankfully we were still able to come over here and see this um, beautiful country of New Zealand. We're gonna just kind of play it by ear. We're just gonna wander around, see what there is still to do today, since a lot of things were shut down because of all the flooding here in New Zealand. Well, we're on land. We are um, just that we just left the port. And now we're gonna head into town, which is literally right off the ship's dock. And I think there's an area where they're gonna have the hop on and hop off buses. So of course, we're gonna try to see if we can do that so it gives us a um, better view of the city and see what else there is. First stop on our way to our hop on, hop off bus. Eh, just wanna show you the New Zealand Maritime Museum, really close to the port. So there's a lot of little things you could do, especially on a rainy day. Um, you got the Maritime Museum, you got the aquarium, and the famous, oh, looky there, just looked up and there it is, the Sky Tower, where you can do a crazy jump from the very top. It's almost like base jumping off the top, hooked to a cord. It, it's, I've seen the video, it, it's crazy. But there it is right there in the background, the Sky Tower. And of course there's a revolving restaurant and then there's uh, a viewing deck up there so you can see the city. As you see behind us, there's the ferry building. We just bought our hop on hop off um, tour tickets. They did do, a, I think, one or two stops that won't be available today just because of all the flooding they had this past week from the storms. So we got a little bit of a discount. I think we paid 40, uh, New, Ze we paid 40 New Zealand dollars, so not too bad. Um, but we're really close to the bus. So right in front of the ferry buildings, all like the expensive shops and stuff like that. You got Bulgari, um, you got Prada, all those things all around here. So we're gonna take a look at this area when we come back. When we have more time, we don't have to worry about uh, time limits. Up oh, there's the bus. All right back there, just waiting. We're on the bus right now, waiting for everybody to get on. That's still paying right over there. We're at one stop. There's nine stops total, but eight and nine because the flooding has been canceled today. So I guess there's only seven stops today, but some cool little locations. And this is not like the normal hop on hop off bus that we're used to where it's open double decker. This is enclosed double decker. So at least if it rains a lot, I guess out here, you don't have to worry about it. It's nice air conditioned, perfect, comfortable seats. So we're gonna wander around the city and see what there is. And now there's a Weta museum or Weta factory type of thing where it does a lot of Lord of the Rings interactive area so I'm gonna see if I can get into that today hopefully I look out across the water I smell the song I feel the breeze but in my I think we finished with the hop-on bus. It wasn't but like seven stops today since the other ones were ruined because of the flooding that was here in New Zealand recently. So a lot of the streets were flooded, so the bus can't go that way. So seven stops today. We went through it really quick. I didn't videotape it too much because it's city life. You know, you've seen it before. But still kind of fun to, for us to see it and wander around. We did do some of the stops and stuff. And I love the cool little designs right here. These big old dome looking thingies. At the top, I thought it might be water or something, but if you look inside, it's kind of hard to see because of the glare. But there's something below us. I don't know if it's, I think it's a train station, a subway station, whatnot. Came in, decided to come into one of these little shops here at the Commercial Bay and check out some stuff. Got a magnet for the family. And 
Got some soft, different types of clothing with the merino wool. And then this one we learned about just yesterday on the ship. There are a lot of possum fur. And that's not the same type of possum like you have in the U.S. This is a totally different looking one. This is what we saw uh, yesterday in uh, one of the classes on board. And look at this. This is alpaca right here. And this is the softest thing I think I've ever felt. That is amazing. If there's somewhere I could bring that on the ship, and I mean, that is amazing. Can't take it with me, but that's the softest thing I've ever seen. And they have gloves, they have all kinds of things. They have the merino wool, and like that body suits with merino wool. I did buy a couple of things that have merino wool, uh, a neck thing, and a couple of socks and stuff like that, which are super soft. But look at this, even the lower, these are some other neck ones that have the possum fur and the merino wool mixed in. It's 110 New Zealand, which is, I think, about 70, 80 bucks US, something like that. So, just want to show you. It's a beautiful little store here. Lots of cool little things. Still wandering around here in Auckland. Just went to the ship real quick to get some food because I was starving and it was free. And now I'm back at it. We're heading over to the Sky Tower, which I've seen from a distance, but not up close. So, we're going to go up there and see it a little closer. I heard a bunch of people say that they got to see people jumping off there earlier today, which I'm hoping to see at least somebody do it. Right next to the sky jump, they do have the Weta immersive experience, something like that, where they had like three different stages, horror, sci-fi, and fantasy. Hopefully they have a spot for me because it is tours and they last about 90 minutes and most of them are full. So I saw some coming up in about 35 minutes or so for the next one. So I'm hoping to make it there. It's about a 14 minute walk from the ship to the um, Weta Museum. But I have to keep an eye on the time for the ship. It's a 90 minute immersive experience. Well, we made it here to the Sky Tower. Reading from my cheat sheet, it says 328 meters tall from the ground level to the top of the mast, making it the tallest freestanding structure in the Southern Hemisphere and the 23rd tallest tower in the world and then become an iconic landmark here in Auckland, New Zealand. Now this little square area where it looks like some restaurants and whatnot, it's called, it looks like Sky City. Look at that. It is massive. Now I know people jump from the very, very top. It looks like called Sky Jump and Sky Walk up there. Unfortunately, I don't see anyone jumping at the moment like they did this morning from what people said yep and i don't even see anybody up there so i don't think we could see it but you could always um, youtube it and see some people jumping off this auckland tower so they just had um somebody just jumped down just now by the time i get the camera they're already kind of halfway down but they jumped from way up there free fell and then, of course, there's a slow descent once they get toward the end right down here where I am. Would have loved to have videotaped the whole thing, but it is what it is. Caught it at the last second. But I just got my ticket. It got a little bit of a discount when I bought my wedded ticket through the hop-on, hop-off bus tour people. So I think I saved like five bucks from what they charge at the front door. So nothing out of this world, but a discount's a discount. So now I'm going to rush over there because... I think the next show starts at, I think, nine minutes from now, and then the next one, another 15 minutes or so. Um, either one of those, I should be able to make it okay if they let me in. On the back side, besides the restaurants, it looks like there's a casino and hotel right here in the background. Very cool, and the whole background, there's a bunch of little restaurants right over here, throughout this little area. Now, the Weta is somewhere around here, somewhere on the back side. So after Google it real quick, Google map it, and figure out where it's at, somewhere around here. So let's get to that so we don't miss the available times. It looks like we found the Weta experience right here next to the Grand Hotel. Right there behind us, we're gonna see if the spots are available. So we get that, and we can buy our tickets. Now, the, this was made in 2020. And the original one is in Wellington, New Zealand from 2008, I think. Something like that, I can't remember. But there's the original one in Wellington, so I might get to see that one too, I'm not sure. Time permits. 
right now, see if we get an opening for this one right now. So this is the Weta Cave experience. The gift shop right there. You got the cool little orc right there. It's scary, there's like two more through there. We're gonna rush inside real quick so we get our spot before we lose it. But this is the shop. Got my ticket for my show in about six minutes, so we have some time to wander around. And that's the cool little drag in his eyes. Look at that, do you see it? They move. Can't touch, but. And of course you have my pretty. So I'm gonna take some pictures and then just kind of interact. It's a big interaction thing. So I'm gonna interact and take pictures and then show you guys at the end. Let's have some fun. and that was amazing 90 minutes of me a little bit more than that of uh, fun exciting educational interactive it was just a blast Rory was our guide he was fantastic um, so much fun here now I have it looks like 36 minutes to get back to the cruise ship before it leaves without me so I have about 15 minute walk I'll be jogging all the way back to the cruise ship and let's get to it so the ship don't leave without me well we're back on the ship. It was a quick, quick, quick jog from the Weta Studios all the way back here. That's why I didn't really film there because I want to make sure it's starting to drizzle a little bit. I want to make sure I got back to the ship in time. I still got on the ship with 15 minutes to spare. And yeah, made it safely back to the room. I think we lock up in about mm, maybe eight more minutes or so. They should be locking up if everybody's on board. It was a fantastic day, a lot of fun walking around the city. The most fun was, of course, the Weta interactive experience. 90 minutes is so much fun. I did some drawing, I got to play with a lot of the animatronics. It was, I don't know what to say, it was just a lot of fun. And so if you're gonna be here in Auckland, that's probably definitely, you know, must do on your what to do list. Now it's right next to the Skyfall, so you go to that big tower and you can watch people jumping off or just hang around that area and do some shopping and whatnot. Inside the Weta experience, we did not only get to play with the animatronics, did some drawing, got to learn a lot about the filmmaking for horror, sci-fi, and fantasy. A lot of the props were really cool. Even the last, one of the last places we went to, I think the second to last spot we went to, where they had a big miniature castle that was set up. So you can see, I mean, it is massive, but yes, small version scaled down version that, that was really cool a lot of good pictures and stuff and it was just a fun little experience there now they did say the one here in auckland is different than the one in wellington which has been around a lot longer this one's only been about uh, since 2020 i think they came out with this one here in auckland but this one you could touch play and it's a little more interactive as the one in wellington i heard was more like a museum of sci-fi and movies and stuff like that which i'm gonna try to still go to if we have time, but at least I can say I did this one. So a lot of, a lot of fun. So guys, I, I'm, now that we're back on the ship, we're calling it a day. I'm going to go get some dinner and a few. And next time you see me, I'll be in another part of New Zealand. I forgot which part we're going to, but I guess you'll see me when I get there. You guys have a great day. And as always, safe travels. Bye, guys.